So, oh, you're wearing a VR headset. You are you in this Zoom session in VR? Yep. <laughs> wow! Holy mackerel! Okay, okay. Hopefully, you can't see around my room because it's really messy right now. I just angled the camera. That is super awesome. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay. I didn't even know you could do that. That's really cool. A couple months ago, Big Screen released a green screen that will allow you to put your big screen avatar anywhere on the internet, just as I'm doing right now. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing. So. Let's jump in. My name is Chuck, the commander of the Voltiverse. On this channel, you'll see VR tutorials, news, and updates, as well as progress towards the creation of the world's greatest virtual experience, the Voltiverse. I've got a lot to teach you and even more to learn. So subscribe to the channel and let's get to work. It's time to build, so let's jump in. All right, so first things first, head on over to the Oculus link in the description below and click on download software for the Oculus software. While that's installing, head on over to the description again and click on the OBS link to download the OBS software for your system. Once your Oculus software has finished installing, go ahead and open that up. It'll ask you to do some generic uh, regular setup stuff. So just go ahead and complete that. And once you're complete, you should be here at the home screen. Go ahead and click on up here at the top, search big screen beta. It'll ask you to download the software. So go ahead and do that. And then once you have that installed, you should be good to go. So now we're going to head over to the headset. All right, so next go ahead and plug in your headset using the cable that came with your headset. If you don't have that, I have a link in the description below to a cable that I personally use and it works great. So click on that and get that if you don't already have a cable to use. If this is your first time connecting your headset to your computer, you're going to need to enable and allow something inside your headset. You should see something like this pop up inside your headset. Go ahead and click allow. And then when it tells you to enable the link, go ahead and click enable as well. And then it should take you into the Oculus Rift home. Once you've opened up the Oculus Rift home, you should see a screen looking like this. If not, you might have to complete a setup. But once you complete that, you should see a screen similar to what I'm seeing now. Next, go to library and you should see the big screen that you installed on your computer sitting right here. So go ahead and click on that so you can load up big screen and get this green screen up and running. All right, now here we are in big screen. Looking nice, looking nice. If this is your first time using big screen, which it probably is, you're going to see a tutorial first before you see what I'm seeing now. So go ahead and complete that, and then you'll be ready to go. All right, and with that, all we have to do now is head back into OBS and do a couple more things, and then we'll finally be able to use big screen's green screen. All right, let's do this. All right, now when you first open up big screen, you're not gonna have any of these scenes that I have here or any of these sources that I have here. So I need them to record this video. So just disregard that and only do the things that I do next. All right, first I just wanna point some things out to you. Head up here to file, go to settings, and then go to output. And here you're going to see um, some of the settings. This is the recording path, let you know where your videos are going to be recorded. And a recording format will let you know what format um, your videos will be recorded in. Uh, MP4 generally works just about everywhere, so I recommend setting your recording format to that. All right, let's leave that. All right, so next, first things first, we're gonna add a new scene. Go ahead and click this, doesn't really matter the name. Go ahead and click OK. Here in the Sources tab, click Plus, and then click Game Capture, okay? Click OK again, and then here at Mode, we're going to click Capture Specific Window. Go ahead and click on that. At Window, we're going to look at the drop-down list and select Big Screen. It'll bring it up here. Go ahead and click OK. Next, we're going to drag this down so it fits the full width of the window. Of the window, excuse me, can't talk. And this should be OK. Next, click on Game Capture. Right-click on it. Click on Filters. Then click Plus. Click chroma key, once again, it doesn't really matter the name, click OK. And then we're gonna leave these settings at their default. These should be OK. Go ahead and click close. And that's really about it. Next, we're gonna head back into our headset and complete the process. And once we do that, we're basically done. 
All right, now once you're back inside a big screen, we're just gonna do a couple of things. Head on over to My Room, then click on Environment, go back to Pages, and you'll see green screen. Go ahead and click on that. All right, once you're in the green screen room, go ahead and click on About My Room, click on Selfie Stick, and you should see a selfie stick appear, and your avatar should come into view. You can grab the selfie stick with the grip button and then use the analog stick to bring it forward and back. And this is really, guys, this is it. If you take off your headset and go into OBS, you will now see that your avatar is utilizing the green screen. Let's check it out. If you keep your headset sitting on top of your head, you can look at OBS and move your avatar at the exact same time. Look at that guys, there is your big screen avatar <laughs> utilizing the big screen green screen. Now if you want to record yourself, just go ahead and click on the record button right here and you can start recording yourself and that's really about it guys. Now, if you want to record yourself in a scene much like I am right now, that is also very simple. Now, in order to build that scene that I was in, it's really simple. Also, just bear with me. I know this looks kind of weird. My headset is sitting on top of my head. It's kind of weird, but uh, moving on. Anyways, I have two Dropbox links in the description below. Just go ahead and click on those. They contain the two pictures that make up the scene we're going to build. Okay, so and then we're going to go over here. Click on add a new scene. Click OK. Then we're going to come here to sources, click add, click on, uh, where is it, image, and we're going to add the two images um, that we downloaded. So wherever you downloaded them, just go ahead and click them, and we will um, bring them into the scene. We can only do them one at a time, so let's do that. First one, and now... Second one. All right, now we're gonna click on the first one that we brought into the scene. And we're just going to drag that all the way across, just like that. Then we're gonna bring the second one that we brought into the scene. We can click on it here or click on it from here. And we're just going to drag it right about there. And then we're going to scale up to a height that we think is okay. I'm going to set this below the scene, scale it up a little bit more, bring it down a little bit. And I think that looks okay. Next, we're going to click add again. And then we're going to click scene. And we're going to add the scene that we were working on previously. For me, that was scene two. And boom, there I am. But I'm in front of the podium thing, which is not what we want. The podium is image five. So we'll drag image five up to the top. Did I get that? Yep. And there we go. We have the exact scene that I was in. If I bring my hands into view, it's the exact same scene. All right, using this process like this, you can build just about anything you want in OBS. So you can create any kind of scene that you want. The only limit is really your own imagination. I'm excited to see what you guys create. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now in order to bring our avatar into Zoom, that's a really simple process. All you have to do is just go ahead and click on Start Virtual Camera, and then go ahead and open up Zoom. Let's go full screen. Click start. Then we're going to click on here, start video. And if you don't have it already selected, you probably don't. You're going to click on OBS, this one, for, I'm using this for other reasons. You're going to click on this one, OBS virtual camera. And just like that, your avatar is in Zoom. Look at that. That is so cool. Try that out at your next meeting. You'll be sure to turn a couple of heads. And that's it. Now your big screen avatar can be anywhere you want it to be. The only limit is, of course, your imagination. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the multiverse. At ease.